Hi, yeah. So, how do you create a loom in? Well, it's really, really simple. All you need is photographic paper, something to keep your loom in on and to support whatever you're putting on top of your loom in, and a live plant species. Could be a flower, but remember it needs to be alive or else it won't react against the paper. Taking your paper out of your black bag in a light away from a window, you want to say as, and as quickly as possible, I'm going to place the paper on the creamy side facing up, put your plant life on top, try to make sure that you don't crush it, try to make sure it's in the middle, I'm just going to remove those leaves so it's a little bit more. And I'm going to place my acrylic on top. This is just a simple clip frame. You could use glass, you could use a poly pocket, or you can just attach it to the window and use some masking tape to keep it there. Okay then, so now I'm going to go outside and put it in the direct sunlight. Okay, so I'm outside in the bright, bright sunshine. It's quite late in the day, so it's going to take a little bit of more time than I would normally expect to use to kind of create this looming. As you can see, it's already starting to turn a blue colour from the yellow that it originally was. You're going to need to leave it in the sunshine for a good one to two hours. So as you can see, it started to turn like kind of a browny, kind of muddy colour. And probably need to get it for another hour at least. I'm just going to peel it away and as you can see you get the leaf form underneath and that's really really beautiful actually. Remember you need to photograph it now and place it somewhere in the back of a sketchbook where light's not going to get to it too often. So I like to use the um, in-camera app and one of the first things that I do is I uh, crop the image. I like to use a 5 by 7 as therefore all my images will be exactly the same. This is great for printing or if you're uploading to like a blog or a screenshot. Afterwards I go into the auto setting and then I like to use the different filters. There's lots of different to choose from but I like the vivid warm. Although dramatic cool does look kind of good. But it's important to keep a consistency. Try play around with your exposure, brilliance, this like kind of changes the lightness, highlights, that's the whites, shadows, that's the dark areas, maybe a little bit of contrast, a bit of brightness if it's not if it's not too uh, or I like to lower my brightness basically. Not too much though. You've got saturation, vibrance, more warmth, tint, sharpness, definition. I like this because this really does add to it. And I always kind of add a vignette, which is the where it goes darker in the corners. So you can do lighter as well. Here's a before and after edit. After edit, before and after. The next two were exposed for six hours. Thanks for watching. Check out more of my work on my blog. Thank you.